So this project came to be uh, uh, in a very unique way for me. Uh, normally, uh, over the years, I would uh, conceive of a project and go out and pound the pavement in search of someone to help me make it a reality. In this case, uh, someone did all that work for me. Uh, Jeff Lanier from Chesky contacted me with an idea um, about doing a, a li a, an evening of live recordings with, a music with some musicians he'd already sort of... Uh, uh, thought about and conceived in terms of sound and, and, and viability for the project. Um, so that's basically how I came, I came to be. Uh, uh, I wasn't sure what we would play or how we would play it. And I have to say that was incredibly refreshing to, um, to take on a project that would embody the spirit uh, of so many of those projects that I grew up listening to where guys talk, you, you read in the line notes, they showed up and they, they talked a few, a few things and they just expressed themselves. But it's also lovely to be able to sit down in a, in a controlled environment with great speakers and a wonderful system and listen to, listen to some music that's so pristinely recorded. You know, you, 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 can, you can hear a pin drop or, you know, you, you, can hear, you can hear the slightest slide of a finger on the string or the pressing of the key on the sax. And it's beautiful. There, there's a reason why I stood, you know, in front of a wall for years practicing to, to master my attack so that you could hear the difference. And you're just not going to hear that on, a, on an iPad. <laughs> you know, so thank God for HD tracks and high resolution audio. Amen. I had no idea what the crash test dummy was doing there. <laughs> um, I have to say, I can't tell you how many times I would love to have had an engineer come in and go, okay, can we just have the drummer play a little softer because we can't hear everybody else? <laughs> The idea that, that um, uh, I'm sure, you know, from the, from the company side or the, or the engineering side, it seems like uh, a daunting task just to get everyone to play um, in a way where, where, where you, can, you can sort of achieve a, a live balance that is then, uh, that then translates to the recording. But from my standpoint, it was really wonderful to see what happens when the musicians have to become responsible for, for creating or controlling their sound in such a way that it translates to a balance on a recording. Sometimes you can, you can conceive of a project that's, that's designed to challenge the musicians just to get from start to finish. Um, and that's one one sort of you know fulfilling endeavor, but you know, but this was about challenging one of the, challenging the three of us to come together as one, and to be individually responsible for our 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 part of the soundscape, yet uh, as also to be responsible for one another, in that um, we had to listen, interact. And, and create, and so I chose, uh, for me, I chose the songs that I chose to play to suggest, and ultimately the songs from the other guys that I was willing to record with were with songs that I felt would be good vehicles for this type of expression. That would, were, were um, with the exception of, of that one song in seven, <laughs> we, we really wouldn't have to think much about about uh, getting through the songs or, 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 or uh, the precision, uh, uh, the execution of the arrangement. We could really just focus on on the crea on, on the flow of creative energy, and, and uh, I felt like the entire day went just that way. That's it. Markwoodfield.com. Can't beat it.